Hi. As you know, on April 8th, 2024, the North American continent is going to have a total solar eclipse. Uh, so today, I'm going to give you a few fun facts for the 2024 solar eclipse. Number one, it takes just 96 minutes for the moon's shadow to cross Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Number two, the average speed of the moon's shadow as it crosses the United States is nearly 2,000 miles per hour. This is three and a half times faster than a jet airliner. Number three, to see the total solar eclipse, you must be inside the narrow path of the moon's dark shadow. The path of totality crosses parts of 15 states. Those are Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Number four. The next total solar eclipse anywhere in the United States happens on August 25th, 2044. But totality can only be seen from parts of Montana and North Dakota. Number five. Now, I didn't know this at first. I just found this out. While you must use your solar eclipse glasses to view the partial eclipse, once the moon completely blocks the sun and total darkness starts totality, you are perfectly safe to view that part of the eclipse without your solar glasses. So, in other words, as the moon begins to cover the sun, as long as the majority of the sun is showing, you must wear your solar eclipse glasses. But once the total eclipse begins, where the sun is totally blocked out and it's darkness, apparently you can take these off and look directly at the eclipse safely. Now, <clears throat> there's only going to be one to four minutes, depending on where you are, of totality. Once the moon starts moving away from the sun and the sun starts shining brightly again and the daylight starts coming back, you must put on your solar eclipse glasses again to watch the rest of the eclipse and to protect your eyes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.